My TV Academy internship was movies for television. Um, so very different than what I'm currently doing in sound, but I was placed with Larry Levinson Productions and we did Hallmark movies. It was kind of a strange transition, but I figured out that I wasn't sure if set life was for me. Um, so I wanted to explore different areas and I explored post-production a little bit, found sound and then found Foley from there. And it kind of just fit everything that I was looking for something creative, something active, um, but still being in TV. So it was kind of like the job that I always wanted that I never knew existed. <laughs> I had a wonderful mentor who is now my Foley partner, nominated with me um, on all of my past nominations. <laughs> so his name is Zane and he is wonderful. He has taught me everything I know and I will be forever indebted to him. <laughs> It's not very difficult to get people interested in Foley. A lot of people are just because it's so unique. It's not something that you learn in school. It's not something that you see on a traditional job application. Um, but for anyone who is passionate about film and television, has a natural rhythm of some sort. I grew up with a dance background personally, so that's helped me a lot. A lot of Foley artists have some sort of um, musical or dance background um, and anyone who just doesn't mind getting dirty you know who likes to get down and dirty with the sounds and not be afraid to try new things because it's different every day my degree was in television and digital media production so I could have gone anywhere in television movies news advertising anything on that realm but I chose to focus on television and movies I would say to any women, especially women, that this industry needs more women. Um, and don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Don't take no for an answer. You know, find what you want to do and go for it. And know that there may be hurdles along the way, but it'll all be worth it if you just focus on what your passion is and find your niche, find what makes you special, and just be your true unapologetic self. <laughs> because that's what gets you to where you want to be. I love that I wear sweatpants every day and <laughs> it's just very casual. I love not having to worry about, you know, like looking nice and you know, presenting yourself in a certain way and talking to people. Like I just go into my dark room, I do my thing. Um, if I get filthy, I get filthy. If I don't, that's fine too. But it's just kind of the relaxed creativity. It's not forced. I have the time and space to let my creativity blossom when necessary. The internship really just showed me that there are so many different paths you can take and everyone arrives at their destination in their own path. Um, it's not always linear, it's not always clear, but seeing all of the, um, the former interns and the current interns and just seeing how everyone came from somewhere different and is going in a different direction and watching them all succeed in their own way was just really inspiring because sometimes we think that, you know, if you want to be a doctor, like this is what you do, you go to med school and then you become a doctor. It's not like that in this industry, which is really special. So it's nice to just kind of make your own path sometimes. I just started my own company, so we're very fresh. <laughs> Still working out all the kinks, but one day, absolutely. Like, I love mentoring. I love meeting, you know, passionate young people who like have the drive and want to do something great and make a difference in this industry. I love that energy. I love showing them what I do and trying to kind of help them on their way. I love just the idea of mentorship. I really, just just to never give up and to pay it forward. That if you wanna be a wonderful human being and a wonderful, in my case, Foley artist, they go hand in hand. And when you are given an opportunity, use that opportunity to then give someone else an opportunity. And that brings the right type of energy, I think, into a job when you have people who truly want to help people. And so that's what I hope to do one day, as you know, my mentor did with me. I hope to shape young minds and young Foley artists one day. I would love people to know that 
networking is everything. Um, it was hard for me because I've always been kind of a shy, introverted person. And yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> and then I kind of learned that you won't really get anywhere quickly if you don't put yourself out there. So being confident in what you have to offer and not being afraid to show people that even when it's difficult, even when it's nerve wracking to approach someone who um, inspires you. Um, take a chance. That's what I did. I was really nervous to meet my now best friend and work partner, but I wanted to learn more. So I asked and really that's my biggest advice is just speak up and you'll never know where you'll end up. We were working at the same company. I was just a receptionist and I kind of learned a little bit about Foley. I'm like, oh, that sounds really interesting. I wonder if he'd let me like see what he does. So I worked up the courage to ask if I could come to the stage, you know, and see what they do. And he let me do a couple cues and it was wonderful. And we started a friendship based on that or else we probably would have just been colleagues. The internship program was kind of my saving grace. I don't know where I'd be without it just because even though I'm not doing the job that my internship was for, just having that community as a young person who, you know, just moving to LA from a like, small town in the Midwest, not knowing anyone, having big dreams, but not really knowing what to do with them. Just having that opportunity to meet like successful people in the industry, fellow aspiring people in the industry really just like set me up for success 100%.